Hey there, and welcome to Shin Mania on Ultraman Connection Collectible Navi. Today, we're going to talk about all the cool Shin Ultraman products that are out there. Alright, let's first look at the Ban Presto Heroes Brave statue figure of Ultraman from the movie Shin Ultraman 2021. So this figure stands about 6.69 inches tall or 17 centimeters. It's made out of plastic and it's non-articulated, meaning it's uh, just a statue. But for the price, which is roughly uh, $25, um, you can you know, have this really nice representation of Shin Ultraman. Um, and it has, it's pretty much a one-piece statue and it does come with a clear stand to help um, Ultraman stand up but yeah I think it's great the uh, great paintwork great sculpt and the eyes have this reflective material so you can see it so where can you buy this figure um, you can find them on Amazon GameStop but I think the best place would be Muteki sales they have a lot of cool Ultraman products and uh, of course we also have the SH figure arts a Shin Ultraman so this figure is also being uh, distributed in the United States by Bluefin Distribution or Bandai Namco. So yeah, this figure again is uh, Tamashi Nation's SH Figure Arts. Uh, also um, a very highly detailed figure. Um, unlike the Banpresto, this one is a highly articulated figure. So there's a multi points of articulation and you can recreate a lot of different poses including the Specium Beam pose. Uh, also like the Rising pose. So a lot of cool things. So here you'll see the uh, distribution by Bluefin and the Bandai Namco group. So again this figure is available is also available in the United States. You can find it um, on like Big Bad Toy Store, Amazon, GameStop and uh, probably Muteki Sales would be a great place to look. So out of the box, um, so we, uh, just a few moments ago we saw all the different accessories so you can change the hands to do uh, different poses. So this is kind of like the standard hands, but check out the eyes. I think it's pretty cool. It has like that reflective uh, material in the eyes. So uh, when light shines on it, kind of uh, looks like it's glowing. So yeah, you can move him, you can pose him, um, you know, lots of different ways. You can make him uh, fly or like fighting poses. Um, so yeah, lots of articulation so you can do any types of poses. And it, he matches well with the Movie Monster series, which is a six inch band line, which we'll uh, cover in a moment in this video. But yeah, so here's the, um, here is the SX Figure Arts on the left with the normal Movie Monster series Shin Ultraman and uh, Gabora on the right so we can see the size comparison. Here we can switch the hands out so you have like a chopping f and uh, also a fist but you can also change out all the hands to have like the um, kind of like the chopping pose and then you can make the Specium Beam pose. So I didn't really uh, do it so well in the video but uh, you get the idea. Next up is the Essex Figure Arts Zofi or from Shin Ultraman. Um, I guess you can call him Shin Sophie, right? So yeah, so Sophie here, if you've seen the movie, he uh, looks different from the original Sophie. Uh, but very cool, he has this kind of bronze golden color. Uh, so it kind of signifies that he's a pretty special uh, being from the planet of light. Um, so this Sophie doesn't have the star marks, but still features the similar patterns from the original Sophie. So really neat. I kind of like the colors here. Um, the box is also interesting. Like rather than the red, it used blue. Uh, but yeah, here is Zofi uh, out of the box. You can see all the different accessories, all the different uh, uh, hands that you can switch out. And very well protected. And uh, yeah, this is like a fan favorite line, the SH Figure Arts line. So lots of articulation here. Um, you can you know do several poses and. Uh, pretty much like imitate any poses or um, just like move him around whatever you like so great for toy photography um, great for just like displaying on a shelf or just you know just even for a lot of play value like you can do lots with it and uh, you do have to balance him um, but so luckily uh, I think uh, Zofi here and uh, Shin Ultraman uh, balance pretty well compared to most uh, figure arts figures so you have the two uh, SH figure arts side by side. 
So really fun. You can, um, you know, change up the hands and actually here's the, you know, I'll just show the hands off again. So Shin Ultraman also has a different type of hands like this. So you can uh, do all the different poses. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to move the Movie Monster uh, Series version, the 6-inch figure, so just to get, get like a size comparison. So we'll cover the Movie Monster Series in just a little bit. But yeah, very cool colors. I like it. All right, moving on. So the Movie Monster Series, a very classic uh, collectible line uh, for many collectors out there. So it's usually like a 6-inch figure. And here is the, the very first entry into the Movie Monster series for the Shin Ultraman figures. And of course it's Ultraman from Shin Ultraman. So this is more of like a static pose where he's just standing uh, straight. Um, and there's the little card here and the little, um, uh, like the photo from it. So I think that was like a promotional photo. So this figure came out uh, very early on. And you can, right now, it looks like the only articulation are the, the two arms, so you can kind of lift the arms up and down. And I think the waist also moves. Next up is the Movie Monster series, Naranga. So, um, yeah, very cool. I know it's a very, for, for a Movie Monster uh, series, this is a pretty long figure. Uh, but I think uh, overall, like, the, the paint and the sculpt is really well done for, you know, this... Um, uh, six inch figure so I think these figures um, uh, roughly uh, between uh, I want to say like if you were to buy it in the US probably I would say like 20 to 30 dollars US um, I think it might be cheaper if you bought it uh, in Japan uh, so these are currently not available um, so I'll step take a step back so the uh, movie monster series currently are not available in the US but you can look for uh, these figures online um, they are for sale at Japanese retailers uh, such as Hobby Link Japan I think Hobby Search Amy Amy um, but uh, you know in case um, you know you have to import them so in case you have trouble um, you can always check to Muteki sales um, they the team over there might be able to help you uh, find these so yeah really cool i think um you know 40 for the price like um you know if it's under 30 dollars i think um really well done for the sculpt and beautiful paintwork so yeah i mean compared to um you know some other movie monster figures out there i think this has uh it's pretty well done and if you have some uh, painting skills you can even customize the figure to add more paint to it uh, so here are the two um Kaiju, Naranga, and Gabara side by side, and also Shin Ultraman. Okay, so the Movie Monster series is not done. There's Shin Ultraman in the uh, Specium Beam pose. So this is really cool because usually the um, kind of like the uh, the Bandai like standard Ultraman figures are usually static figures. So it's really cool to have um, you know an Ultraman figure that's kind of um, in more of an action pose. I I, per I personally like the action pose figures more um, and this one even comes with this clear stand so you can help um, Ultraman stand better uh, and balance well. Fortunately this figure uh, balances pretty well you know with or without the stand but the stand of course makes it even uh, more balanced. So you can recreate different scenes from the movie um, such as uh, putting uh, Shin Ultraman here with uh, Naranga. Alright, so Movie Monster Series continues with Zarab and the uh, 2021 version from Shin Ultraman. So Shin Zarab, I guess. And uh, yeah, I think he's really well done here. Looks just uh, like Zarab in the movie. Um, color's a little bit light, but um, you know, it's uh, I, I like the, the more colorful figures um, in the collection, so it kind of stands out and what's really neat here they made him like a translucent um, on the back so it resembles like what you saw in the movie so you only see like half of them um, so I think this is really cool uh, really neat and the card here doesn't have a photo of Zara but it has the um, uh, the beta capsule so curious to see why that was the case but um, but yeah I think uh, the arms move and that's just about it so not too much articulation here but uh, maybe the, um, you know, maybe Tamashii Nations will make a figure arts version just like what they did with the uh, Showa Zarab. So this is the original Zarab, what he looks like. 
So as you can see, um, you know, a little different than the uh, the Shin version, but still has that, um, you know, still has the look of the original Zarab. All right, so a lot of people love Mephilus. I think uh, he was portrayed very well in the Shin Ultraman movie. And this band, I figure, is a great representation uh, of Mephilus. So um, I think the sculpt is uh, pretty spot on. I mean, you know, you don't have much articulation, but um, look at that sculpt. Look at all the little details here. I think they did a good job. Um, so yeah, he's more of a static pose in this case. Um, but I, I like what they did so far. The paint looks pretty good, um, you know, for like a, you know, under $20 figure, I think. Um, it's uh, pretty well done. A lot of silver. You know, here's a little stand for him, so that's nice. Too bad uh, Shin Ultraman doesn't have a stand because um, only the Special and Beam one does. But yeah, the stand helps him, um, you know, uh, st stay up really well. Without the stand, he does struggle a little bit, but um, he can still manage. Alright, so here's a an older Bandai figure of Mephilus that I have in the collection. So we can see the difference uh, between the classic Showa Mephilus and the uh, the new Shin Mephilus. But you can see like the um, inspiration uh, transferred over to the modern version uh, very well. And here's the Tamashi Nation's um, SX Figure Arts Mephilus. So again, this is more of course more true to what we saw in the original show in the 1966 Ultraman. So again, like all the details uh, from the original Mephilus uh, has been transferred over to the new version, but of course it's slimmed down and much more modernized. But yeah, you can uh, you know do some cool poses like this with the uh, SH Figure Arts version. So yeah, I, I believe uh, Tamashi Nations will be making a uh, SH Figure Arts version of the Shin Mephilus, so stay tuned for that. Okay, if you saw Shin Ultraman, uh, Shin Ultraman does have different forms, and the first form is the silver version. So we can see, uh, you know, Shin Ultraman in doing a special beam pose. And what's cool is this figure is not only a repaint, but it also has a new sculpt for the head. So if you look closely, the silver version of Shin Ultraman, the face kind of resembles like the Type A face from the original Ultraman. So I, I, I like how they play tribute um, to the original show where the two faces are different. So you can see the, um, the newer one is more like a type C face. And uh, not newer one, sorry, the, uh, the, the, with the red pattern versus the silver pattern. So I think that's really cool. Like it's a really great way. Even the eyes are different. I think the ears, yeah, the ears are different. And yeah, Movie Monster Series continues with a lot more. So. Shin Ultraman when he is um, and when his energy is starting to deplete. So in the movie, instead of having the color timer, he changes to the green color, which is very rare for Ultraman. I think usually Ultraman has been classically silver and red, and uh, some of the newer ones have some uh, blue. Uh, but this is one of the few times we see Ultraman silver with green. So usually silver with green, um, I think that's with um, Mirror Man. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. And even the, car the, even the card has green, so I, it's pretty neat. All right, now who is this? Is this another Shin Ultraman? Well, if we look closely, this is actually the Nisei Ultraman, or the Shin Nisei Ultraman, a.k.a. Fake Ultraman. So in the movie, if you, and also in the classic show, Zarab does transform uh, or imitates himself to be uh, Ultraman to kind of trick, um, you know, trick peep, trick the humans, thinking that Ultraman is actually a bad guy. Um, so in the classic one, the Nisei Ultraman had like kind of like these curved up boots, but I don't think it was too much curved um, in this new version. So the biggest difference is just kind of like the head, mostly the eyes. But yeah, the boots look sim looks the same to me. I didn't really see the that much difference. It's really the eyes that is different, um, and maybe a little bit of the face. All right, now we have the Mega Movie Monster Series Ultraman Landing version. So this is cool. This is the um, looks like it's nine inches tall, roughly nine inches tall, and we can see it's a lot bigger than the uh, six inch normal Movie Monster Series. And this one actually has some weight to it, and he stands up on his own pretty well. Doesn't need a stand or anything. 
So really cool. The um, the tag here is kind of just a single tag. Um, kind of like the classic, uh, you know, like 8-inch figures back in the um, 80s and 90s from Bandai. So really cool. And uh, yeah, I think the uh, the face is really done well. We can see a lot of detail. And here we can see the um, Mega uh, Movie Monster Series Shin Ultraman with the red pattern alongside with the um, 6 inch version. So yeah, a lot bigger and I like how he stands on his own pretty simple and he has some weight to it. I like it a lot actually, even though it's a static pose, I think they did a really good job. Love the paint, um, very minimal seams. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's only only two points of articulation, all well, three points if you count the waist. But um, yeah, the card has some red on it and the silver for the uh, the landing version. But yeah, overall, I I like it a lot. And these are not too expensive, so uh, great to have in the collection. So yeah, there's a lot of cool Shin Ultraman stuff out there. In our next episode, we're gonna talk about the art of toy for Shin Ultraman and go into the CCP 16th Fusatsu series, looking at Shin Ultraman, Naronga, and Gabura. All right, see you next time.